Welcome back, dear friends and supporters. In today's video, we will be installing AUX inventory on our ESX framework server. Not only that, but we'll also be adding the AUX target system. You might have noticed that the ESX framework doesn't have a proper inventory system, relying instead on a menu-based inventory. However, in the ESX framework, most scripts are enhanced to support full AUX inventory, so you won't encounter issues or need to make code changes when adding new scripts. Let's get started. To kick off the integration of this dynamic update into your 5M server, begin by heading to our GitHub page. We've made this step straightforward for you by placing the link right in the video description for easy access. Now make sure you are downloading the release copy of the AUX inventory. Proceed to download the folder. Once downloaded, unzip the folder and then copy and paste it into the server directory that best fits your configuration. Here, I'm going to use all the AUX scripts for the ESX framework, so I'll create a new folder called AUX to keep everything organized. This way, all the AUX-related scripts will be in one place, making it easier to manage and update them. Now, if you open the AUX documentation, you'll find the link to AUXlib. Download it and install it using the same process we used for AUX inventory. Additionally, as an optional step, you can also download AUX target. Follow the same installation process for that as well, keeping everything organized in the AUX fold. Now that I have all the AUX scripts downloaded and organized in the same folder, the next step is to ensure they are correctly added to the server.cefg file. First, open the server.cefg file and locate the line where the core framework is ensured. Above this line, add start aux lib. Then, below the core line, add ensure aux inventory and ensure aux target, as demonstrated in the video. This setup ensures that all the aux scripts are loaded in the correct order when your server starts. The next step is to add the config file to the inventory. If you go to the AUX docs, you will find the code snippets for the config. Copy the relevant code and paste it into VS Code, then save it as config.cefg. Make sure that the file is saved in the .cefg format. If you can't see the file extension, or if the file is saved in text format, go to the View tab, then navigate to Show, and make sure to tick the option to display file extensions. This will help you ensure the file is saved correctly as a .efg file. Now that the installation steps are complete, you can restart the server and enjoy the freshly added AUX inventory without any issues in the ESX framework. With this inventory, you'll also be able to have cash as an item. However, there are a few more setup steps needed to make it fully compatible with your server. To finalize the setup, go back to the docs and copy the line for converting ESX inventory data. Paste this line into your server console. This process will convert all existing inventory items into the AUX format. Be sure to do the same for property data as well to ensure everything is fully integrated and functioning smoothly. Now, go to the ESX add-ons and delete the ESX shops as all the gun shops and 24-7 shops are included with the AUX inventory. After this, head into your server and check out the ammunition shops. You'll find a green marker and the shop will open without any issues. Similarly, when you visit the 24-7 shop, it should also be functioning smoothly without any problems. You might be wondering how to set up a shop or add new locations for shops in AUX inventory. I've got you covered. First, open the inventory folder and go to the data directory. Here, you'll find all the files you need to edit, starting with weapons and then moving on to shops. 
In the shops file, you'll find all the shop locations listed in a single file, including ammunition, liquor stores, and 24-7 shops. After reviewing these locations, it's important to configure the inventory settings according to your needs. Make sure to set the max weight, slots, and other relevant parameters. Pay special attention to the police job name and the evidence locker configuration. Go through all the settings to get a good understanding of how they work. In an upcoming video, we'll dive deeper into adding items and setting effects for the items we add, like creating drug effects for alcohol. Stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and like the video to stay updated with all my ESX-focused content. Your support helps me keep bringing you more tutorials and guides, so don't miss out on the upcoming videos. I am very happy to announce that Codeine has now crossed 4,200 plus active members, making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!